A recently released study showed dental therapists have a crucial role in detecting child abuse. The University of Otago study noted therapists were often the healthcare professional children see most consistently. It also noted they were unsure how to refer cases. School of Dentistry senior lecturer Colleen Murray is here to fill in the details. Good evening, Colleen. Hello, Rebecca. Now tell us about the study. Who put it together and why? There were several of us involved in the study, myself, obviously, one of my colleagues, Jonathan Broadbent, and then a final year dental student, Dara Tilvawala, and she was funded over the summer by the Child Injury Prevention Foundation to carry out the study. Now, what was the purpose behind doing it? We felt that this is a big issue in New Zealand. This information was important, and we wanted to see what was going on out there. Mm. What were its most important findings? We know that child abuse is a problem in New Zealand. Everybody knows this. We also know from statistics that 80% of reported cases that actually require intervention are involving children under the age of 14. Now this is the age that our dental therapists treat. So what we found out in the study is that yes, the therapists are seeing abuse, Unfortunately, not all of it is being reported, and we found out the reasons why. Mm. Basically, we found out that our dental therapists are an untapped resource mm. for recognition and for reporting. And very positively, the study showed that they believe this is an important issue, and they want to make a difference. Now, the study looked at dental therapists. Now, for some of our older viewers, myself included, what's the difference between a therapist and a dental nurse? Well, a lot of people ask that. In 1991, dental nurses became known as dental therapists. There was no difference. It was just a name change. But since then, things have changed. In 2002, it became a three-year degree. And then in 2007, what actually happened was that dental therapy and dental hygiene combined, mm. and they became what is now known as the Bachelor of Oral Health Program, mm. a three-year degree. What sort of abuse are therapists seeing? In the study, the most commonly cited kinds of abuse were the physical signs, things like bruising, lacerations, burns, and then there was the signs of neglect, because abuse, neglect, fall under the one term maltreatment. Mm. Things like children who are unwashed, unkempt, smelly. And then of course there's the dental neglect. Children with a lot of disease that isn't being taken care of. Mm. The barriers to reporting were also discussed in your study findings. Tell us about yes, those. Yes, this was important. What, what our study showed is interestingly enough exactly the same as what other studies in the world have shown. Most of the worldwide studies haven't involved therapists, though. It's been dentists and dental specialists, mm. one in the UK involving therapists. The main barrier is the fear of reporting a non-abuse case. Mm. That, was the main, that was what stood out. Obviously, there are other, other barriers, not knowing where to go to report, fearing that if you report, there might be more violence against the child. Mm. Do dental therapists get training in that area? Yes, they do. It's incorporated in the undergraduate training. And then another really positive that the study showed is that over 60% of the participants have actually, since they graduated, done continuing professional development courses. Mm. And over 80% said in the study that they are keen to do more. So that's, you know, that's really important. Mm. Now what happens with the study findings? Will they be referred to a organisation or any it's already happened. It's already happened. On the day that we had the media release, we were actually contacted by the appropriate authorities. They're very interested. Um, the, the thing is, we're the researchers. We ask the questions. Mm. We hope to get the answers. And when we get the answers, we hope that our findings can then influence policy. So yes, it's underway. School of Dentistry Senior Lecturer Colleen Murray, thanks very much for your time. Thank you, Rebecca.